Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And boy, if you had a more obvious, will this go up Chiliad thing, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet, yeah. But what do we do with it? I mean, what do we... How do we deck this puppy out? What were you looking for? Dubs to 6x6. This was one of the original reward vehicles. You, you couldn't... Wanted? You couldn't buy it. You couldn't have it. Till you hit rank 100. I think it still might be that way, but okay. Chrome Bulbar, Bulbar, Winch. I think definitely Chrome. Don't she look pretty? <sighs> Excuse me. It's been a long day, and I'm finally getting a chance to do something relaxing. Let's Chrome this Girl up. Is looking good. Engine, rev it up. This vehicle, it's real life Mercedes equivalent made famous on Top Gear. I have a Top Gear built one in my, uh, yeah, my other character, Chrome Grill. Is that even, does that even let air through? I'm all about Chrome, but I think let's, 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 uh, off road hood. Off road hood with spare. That's interesting in that the spare does not match the wheels. Can we get that wheel? Can we get the wheel so the wheels match this? Whatever you decide. Technology and budget. I'm going right to wheels. Okay. Wheel type. I have no idea. Maybe a muscle? I mean, what? It has kind of a muscle look to it, but I don't know that Long it's going to scale right. Like, that might be something that doesn't match anything. Tuners? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna take this off. I, I don't I don't if we come across that, because it looks like something that exists. I mean, I don't know. Low rider? Nothing really that... Why would they do that? Why would they make it? We'll come back to this. Hood. We're just going stock. We're, we're fine here. We're gonna, I think we're going to shine this up. Make it look like an over-spec road-going wonder kind of thing. Kids, neon layout, neon noodle. Throw the xenons on because it's expensive. The plate, six thirty. Tick 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 tick. tick. No. Black Body work to match the driver. Or do we want to do see you later? Because this is my other character. See you later, alligator. And after a while, you crocodile. So we get to respray. Is this a thing? Do we want to go this route? Just absolutely chrome it up. Or maybe not so absolutely. But we could go with metals. And go at pure gold. That looks really green for some reason. That, that, that looks odd. I can do it. This was the plan. Just going completely metallic. And why does it have a pearlescent effect? That's just all... 
Did I do something funky here because I did chrome and then then metals? No. Making decisions is stressful. But we're doing metals. We're doing pure gold. We're gonna see how it looks, looks in the light. As good as you. You're so sweet. Chrome on the So chrome on the secondary throws this thing, whole thing into like disarray. Like it's like the colors are all mixing and matching. And okay, let's go with that. And roof, roof rack, roof rack with spotlights that probably don't work. Back in the day, it was hard to. Let's do that. Your cosmetics are on point. Suspension. Should we usually, you know, in something like this goofy, you wouldn't lower it, but I think the actual vehicle can be lowered selectively. You can choose the ride height. So let's choose a ride height that like probably will actually help performance. The turbo tuning. Okay. Wheels. Wheel type. High end. There is something to be said. We're going right for the shadows. I think the carbons would work here, but we've taken so, so much black off the car. Here. Mercy. It has to be a high end. I mean, I could do something like go with muscle or, or tuner slicers or something like that. That does give it a little more tire. It looks a little less goofy. And those counter steers. Yeah, there's the slicers. That does look pretty good, doesn't it? So do I go with like the maximum high end kind of thing? Or do I give this a little bit more rubber? Do you need a drink? Bubbles. Yeah, pretty much. I kinda like this. And yet I had kind of a plan. So we have the slicers versus I mean the SUVs would kind of be the same thing, rubber band. Rubber band excessive kind of ooh, that's a lot of chrome. The cogs of Yeti. This is the high end chromes. I don't know if I want to go for Max Goofy. Max Show Car. If I want to go for what I actually kind of like, which is for this one, the slicers. I kind of like the look. It's le it's it's less over the top. Whatever you decide. Technology and budget. I mean, it's kind of like going for, um, that's one of my standards, so it's like kind of going for the mercenaries on it. That would probably handle better. Get the more, I mean, the obvious thing is to go off-road. Now it's beefy. Big beefy heavy wheels. But you kind of feel like if someone was going to cover their car in gold, they would not be going off road with it. If you can think it, I do. I 
I think it's gotta be the, the rubber bands here. If the blades. Super G. Super G not as crummy. Making decisions is stressful. Alright, let's not agonize over all this. Chromatics. There you go. Tires, tire, make them bulletproof, of course. Windows, light smoke. Exit to the ground. This looks like a remote control car with those wheels. <laughs> Doesn't look real. Alright. Alright, good. I'm glad you agree. Um, headlights work? I'm thinking none of the other lights work except for the Xenons. And there you have it. As high end, as level 100 as you could make it. High end this, high end that, chrome everywhere. And where there's not chrome, there's gold. So will this shiny thing go up to Chiliad? You'd assume so. Wouldn't you assume so? I'm assuming so. But, you know, we're gonna trust yet verify. The Chilean hot lap route. I assume this is an off-roader. It's six by six, it should be a hot it should be an off-roader, don't you think? With its six by sixes. Off-road. Maybe at noon so we could really see the shininess. Not rally. No, 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 no. Not rally. That would be nightmarish. No one's going to want to do this. As a rally. Can you imagine rally, Fred? Boy, that would just be nightmarish. How would that even work? Custom 6x6 six six continue. 6x6 in six six ready to play. 6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x6x
know, you think you're high spot, you think you're stuck. Nope, six by six. It, now, it is big and long, and that could pose yeeting yourself off the mountain problems. Like that. I, that, I yeeted myself off the mountain there, but we recovered. Now, the good news is I don't think I have to worry about stopping or anything like that. I don't have to worry about momentum as much, because I think this will just pull. I don't even know if the car actually acts as a 6x6. I think it's probably a 4x4, four four, if we're lucky. But, you know, game physics and mechanics might not be... That might not be a thing. Okay, what well, we've got up here... Can we just crawl it up? This thing will just pull up any kind of... Surface here. Now that's a little bit at least to ask with no momentum, but it's really good. If you can get a dubs to six by six in a G Fred, uh, you will finish, I think. That's you're not gonna you're not gonna necessarily beat someone in an infernus, but I mean, you know. You don't have to worry too much. So let's see how it goes does going down. I'm just coasting it here. all this baby around because there's not a lot of room woo a lot of opportunity to yeet yourself into the oblivion here let's let's not let's make the turn Ooh, it took it a little wide there it is a a big and potentially bouncy boy okay we were cutting this way a little bit early in the ooh wow reverse Oh, no reversing. Let's just turn and all right. Ooh, that's a lot of locking brakes and sliding. A little just touching the gas here. Okay, now I think we're into the big flat heat. Handling is nice. Yeesh. Ow. I tried to turn away from the, the tree. Then bend it a bit, bent it up a little bit. Not as much as that train will bend it up, though, so we're going to wait the train out. Yeah, we bent it a little bit, but still, still very shiny. Still quite shiny. The gold medals and the chrome medals all mixing and matching here. Let's try not to give it a bath. Give it a bath. Okay. I felt like I was going for the bath. Okay. Back to the top of Shriad. Duh. Shriada. I love gold. Probably not going to edit in the actual movie clip of that because. Going, you know, I've been I've been getting pretty daring lately, but copyright, yeah, that's a thing. Maybe, maybe not. But if I could do this in one cut, I'm gonna take that. So many videos. Yeah. Now. That was like a really interesting maneuver. Definitely going to have his way there. That was... And make the turn. Whee! It looks like it handles the underbrush pretty well. Gee, isn't there usually a car there trying to cut me off? make the jump. Not quite. Ooh, that was quite spectacular. Oh, there's the car. Will it climb up this thing, though? Yes. Ooh, the front end getting all bent out of shape here. It is an older car, so it probably has some heavier crash 
crash deformation going for it. It's going to be entertaining, but you know. There's some the downsides to that, too. Vehicular performance and exploding. It does tend to push, so I'm, I was going through there a little bit gingerly. Okay, let's see something. Let's do an experiment. Okay, so the rear wheels spin. But not the fronts? Or that's just because of the way it was loaded up? Let's see. Is that how the real thing is? It, it, it looks like it has a transfer case to the front. Okay, we're going to I climb this up on something. We four by four by four. Of it. I want to set the front wheels relatively free here. Almost had it. The problem is it's going right over them. I can't really kind of beach it up on the thing. Let's see if there's any power going to the front. That looks like there's a little bit of front wheel drive there, didn't it? Or is that just lock differentials at the front? It just crushed the Priuses here and other things. That's just tough. Okay, there you go. With that jump, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, at least we determined as I as I hit that jump. Luckily, we don't have far to respawn. Let's see that again. Let's do this. We're gonna jump, tap the brakes, and then oh, I can't get power. It wouldn't give me power back once I tap the brakes. I, I don't know. You know what? This is all very inconclusive. And let's start to somehow completely beach this. Okay, let's see. Maybe. No, that's not quite it. We're going to get completely stuck, but we're not going to get what we wanted here. Can I somehow dip this front end off of there? In fashion. Oh, we went through. We accidentally finished the race. It happens. Here's a joke here, I'm not gonna make it. Okay. Free mode. Maybe we could, we're gonna be in the same place. Maybe we can still do the thing. Okay. 
we're not going to get to reset this. So let's do the uh, the engine pop thing before. And let's see. Big Mercedes, supposed to be V12 on the plate. can't really see. That look like it's got... See, I guess you can't really tell. That looks more like an 8 than, than... You know, it's hard to see, I guess, but... Oh well, engine models are a thing. And... Vehicle... So now the test that we've been waiting for. Hopefully I could do this carefully enough. And yeah, we can't get any uh, any more lights. All those lights are just There you go, folks. It is a true 6x6. That's definitive. It is, in fact, a 6x6. It's not even completely stuck. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen. Another car I got to drive more. These are fun. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.